It's estimated that 125 million people worldwide have psoriasis, and around 150,000 more are being diagnosed every year. In plaque psoriasis, thickened red patches appear on the skin, covered with flaking silvery scales. But the question of why remains. Looking under the skin's surface, we notice three layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Healthy skin continuously self-regenerates, pushing older skin cells to the outer surface for removal. But in plaque psoriasis, skin cells are overproduced and move to the outer surface of skin too quickly in a matter of days instead of weeks, building up as raised and scaly patches of inflamed skin. And even though psoriasis is considered a disease of the epidermis, it starts well below the skin's visible surface. Psoriasis is an autoimmune and genetic disease, which begins when an abnormally triggered immune system reacts inappropriately to the skin, causing the epidermis to rev up its production of skin cells, creating more than what is necessary. By doing this, the immune system creates an ongoing cycle of inflammation and rapid skin growth, which we see during outbreaks as thickened red and flaking plaques surrounded by completely normal skin. Psoriatic flare-ups can last for months and are commonly triggered by injury to the skin, as with a bug bite, scratch, or sunburn. So keeping a trigger journal is highly recommended because if triggers can be identified, they can be avoided. Now to calm or reduce the risk of flare-ups, take proper care of your skin. Use a daily body moisturizer or emollients like petroleum jelly. Take daily lukewarm baths with mild soaps and salts and use the skincare regimen prescribed by your doctor. Living with psoriasis is stressful and that alone can trigger flare-ups. So managing stress with exercise, meditation and rest may be helpful. There's no cure for psoriasis and no single treatment is going to be effective for everyone, but it is manageable. Working closely with your doctor is the key to managing psoriasis. Mild to moderate psoriasis may respond well to topical gels or creams and ultraviolet phototherapy, while those with severe or resistant psoriasis may benefit from systemic treatments like oral medications and injections that offer relief throughout the body. If you've got questions about psoriasis, talk with your dermatologist about creating the best plan of action to putting psoriasis into remission and keeping it there.